In this video, we're going to talk about precession, specifically the precession of the Earth, which is the 26,000 year change in the direction of Earth's rotation axis. So let's draw in the Earth. And let's draw in its rotation axis. So here's our north rotation axis and then the south side of the rotation axis. So the north north rotation axis is currently pointing to a yellow star called Polaris. But not always will the north rotation axis point to our north pole star called Polaris. And in fact, in 26,000 years, the rotation axis points to different stars. So if I were to draw this in, it would look something like this. So currently, we are pointing towards Polaris. But we will not always be pointing towards Polaris. The direction we will swing is in the clockwise direction. So in about 8,000 years, we're going to be pointing to a blue star called Deneb. And then in about 14,000 years, we're going to be pointing to another blue star called Vega. And then in about 21,000 years from now, we'll be pointing to another star called Thurban. So currently, our rotation axis is pointing to Polaris. But every year it slowly changes and it swings, and eventually it is going to point to another star, Deneb. And that's going to take about 8,000 years. And then after about 14,000 years, the rotation axis is going to point to Vega. And then in about 21,000 years, it's going to point to Thurbin. So it's going to trace out this cone shape in the sky. And that cone shape that the rotation axis of Earth traces out in the sky is called precession. Now why does precession occur? Let's go to another page. To understand why precession occurs, we have to exaggerate the shape of the Earth a bit. So I'm going to draw the Earth as this oblong shape, and I'm going to put the equator in. And I'll go ahead and put the rotation axis. The north rotation goes out through the south, so there's our rotation axis. Now our Earth orbit or rotates in the counterclockwise direction, so I will label that. And it actually orbits around the sun in the counterclockwise direction. So I'm going to put the sun out here as a small star and because it's far away and then I'm going to trace out the path that the earth makes around the sun in the counterclockwise direction. So let's label this. The path that the earth makes around the sun in the counterclockwise direction is called the ecliptic. Not to be confused with the equator on the earth. So currently in the sky, the Earth is pointing towards Polaris, but it's going to slowly trace out this oblong path in the sky, tracing, and we'll be looking at various different objects in the sky, such as Deneb, Vega, and Thurbid. Now to complete the picture, we also have to put the moon in here. Now the moon also orbits around the uh, Earth in the counterclockwise direction. 
and I forgot to put on the rotation or the axis of the motion of the procession which is in the clockwise direction. Clockwise. Now why does this occur? The reason why this occurs is because the Earth is not perfectly round. Earth has a little bit more mass in the northern hemisphere than the southern hemisphere, so I drew it as this funny potato shaped with more mass in the northern hemisphere. And so you have these different gravitational pulls by the sun and the moon on this funny shaped earth. So we have a pull, this force of attraction or this gravitational force from the moon and the earth and this gravitational force between the sun and the earth. So the force of the pull on the northern hemisphere is different than the force of the pull on the southern hemisphere. And, and you have the force of the pull by both the moon and by the sun. Now we have to also couple in that there's this rotation, this axis of rotation. So you have the earth that's spinning, it's moving, and it's spinning around its rotation axis. So the combination of this of this gravitational pull that pulls more on the northern hemisphere than the southern hemisphere by the moon and by the sun and on this spinning earth causes this this torque of the earth's rotation axis in the sky and that causes the earth's rotation axis to slowly change to pointing to Deneb and then Vega and then Thurban and then going back to Polaris in a time of 26,000 years.